You heard dirt, dude. Uh, I think this is gonna be awesome. I think it's gonna be awesome. It's loud. We lost the nut on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not the transmission. What's going on everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And I'm Charles. And today on Cars and Cameras, we should be taking our 190cc yard cart destroyer for its very first test drive. We have a short list of things to do today. I'm gonna start by uh, building a fuel tank. We need to figure out the exhaust. We need to switch the brake pedal from the wrong side of the vehicle to the other side. Uh, we need to finalize and weld in the rear shocks and we need to weld the engine in place and then we should be able to figure out if our gearing is correct by putting it around the yard and saying, Ike, it's just tacked, and then rooster tails and donuts, stuff like that. So anyway, I'm gonna get us started off with a fuel tank, and uh, we're just gonna get these pounded out and uh, hit the track. And a special thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's episode. So we sealed up the fuel tank that I built, but the downside is that it has to cure for four days. So we're gonna probably just strap it till it's in 212 tank to the rear rack of this thing, just for today's episode. So Charles is going to get on reinforcing the chassis and welding everything up that needs to get welded in preparation for a first test drive. Let's do it. So we need to strengthen up this frame in a few different spots. And my agenda today is to Try, on, on my agenda today is to attach from the top of here to this X, X frame to keep this from walking side to side. And we also need the same size piece relatively to go here to here to keep this shock from actually lifting this steel that way. We're going light for, you know, because it's already getting heavy. Tacker, dude. Yeah, it's not bad. And before I weld all this up, I'm gonna probably put this back in here so these don't move. That sort of stuff. All right, the seat is bolted in. Ike is winding down on the electronics up front. It's time to cut out the final piece of the puzzle, our control panel with our yard dart symbol up there. So let's uh, make sure our speed is right. Let me speed it up a little bit. Maybe 5%. Nope, not pierced away. There we go. There we go. Yard dart, baby. <laughs> Yard dart, dude. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Our uh, switch panel's been welded in. Charles is gassing us up and it's just a temporary fuel tank until the one that I built seals. But the good news is this one should be gravity fed, right? Because it's high enough. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should have just done this in the first place, but we're not gonna think about that because I spent like a day and a half on that tank. Electronics coming along okay? Yes, sir. All right, so we're back in the Cars and Cameras kitchen for another cooking segment. We love HelloFresh and they're sponsoring today's episode. The holidays can be hectic, but HelloFresh keeps things simple with recipes and ingredients that cut out grocery shopping and limit meal prep time so you can spend more of the festive season with friends and family. What do we have here? We've got 
sweet chili pork cabbage stir fry. We've got crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. Oh, melty Monterey Jack burgers. Oh, Smells this is like a grocery store. This is better. It's great because HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut if you're not sure what new dishes you might want to try. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. I think we're gonna go with the crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. Look at these carrots. All of this looks good, dude. Those potatoes look fantastic. We got the breadcrumbs. We got the red hot original seasoning blend. We have Oh, Monterey Jack, I love cheese. Oh, it's so good. It's a ton of food. It's a ton of food, dude. Chef Isaac is gonna be busy. Oh yeah. So you got to trim and peel these carrots. And what I like to do is I like to clean them just like this. You really want to use a uh, straight blade knife. I love sour cream. I love the smell of scallions, so we're both in oh, heaven right that's now. Good. Dude, I feel like there's a dip here for chips, like some of that with sour cream and something else. See how inspired he is? I am very inspired right now. Get some mashed potatoes going. Gotta bring it up to a boil. That'll be uh, 15, 20 minutes right there. One of the best things about HelloFresh is that I can be out in the yard or hanging out at my friend's house and then I get the notification that my package has arrived. Suddenly, I don't have to worry about my dinner plans or running by the store because everything I need is right at my door waiting for me. This has saved me lots of time and stress because otherwise, I'd have to go to the store every week for ingredients on meals I don't even really know the recipes for. HelloFresh has the ingredients and the recipes all in one. Also, you can increase your HelloFresh box serving so you can easily use leftovers for lunch too. All right, cooking time. Smells so good from the shop. All right, everything is looking good. Just enough for everybody, so nothing goes to waste. And you know, HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. Oh man, looking good. That looks good. Come on, man. It's gonna be good either way. That is looking fantastic. Yes, sir. Let's eat. Mm-hmm. Good job on the mashed potatoes, man. HelloFresh is delivered yet again. Oh. Did you stub oh. your toe? Chicken is delicious. All right, we're gonna finish up our dinner before heading back out of the shop, but if you are looking to make some simple and tasty meals just like we did, go to HelloFresh.com and use code CARSANDCAMERAS14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. We're not gonna get everything done in order to go just all out on this vehicle, but we want to get a test drive before we run out of time today. An Ike, an Ike test. An Ike test. I'm not gonna get on it. I'm just gonna, you know, no feel it out. Else and then, now. yeah, rooster tails, yeah. Just ready, cut. <laughs> just no, kidding. No, we actually. <laughs> no, like, man, I it's, like it's awesome, dude. Good. That's what gets the people going. I'm into it. Anyway, uh, the main reason we don't want to go hog wild is because we don't have a chain guard, and that's right by, what do you call it? The goodie room? Yeah. Uh, no, th yeah, this is some serious danger factor. We Normal go-kart, yeah, just let Ike go crazy, but this, we, we don't, we like him. Yeah, we, I think we got a complete straight pipe, so it's going to be really loud. Of course, we don't have a permanent fuel tank. Uh, oh, hey, hold on. Oh, yeah, we're going to just pop that off for now. Yeah, that was yeah. some fabrication. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But dude, let's get you a helmet and uh, get you going. All right. The yard dart. I love it. There's your helmet, bud. All right. Got anything you want to say beforehand? Uh, I think this is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Be careful. And oh, be yeah. careful. We well, I welded this myself. <laughs> It's loud.
hearing is good. It's so loud. It's very loud. Where'd he go? Oops. That must be in the wrong gear. About to die. Oil leak? No. We lost the nut on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it had way more camber than it should have. Oh okay. man. Oh, that's I'm, so I'm, scary. I'm glad that uh, I, you know, I wasn't going nuts with it. Oh, funny. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. Hey, it's going back nuts in there. Don't worry. Well, oh, we lost the nut though. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna find have to it. find a nut for yeah, it. But that, uh, we didn't have any, and those were hard to find. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I kind of like it. It's uh, pretty cool. Is it comfortable and stuff? Or it's, it's not too bad. The the gas pedal. Yeah. It's it doesn't have a whole lot. I mean, well, it seems like nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. Maybe we need yeah. to adjust. So we need to play with the gas pedal some. Uh, the brakes work, but I, I think we need to come up with with a better pedal. Yeah, a hundred percent. Master cylinder or something. <laughs> I mean, it'll lock up the brakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like sketchy. Uh, the clutch is pretty good. Uh, the steering is, eh? It doesn't uh, turn quite sharp enough for me. Ah. Uh, oh, so I think okay. if we uh, re-drill the holes, we can re-drill and trim a little bit. Yeah, trim a little it. bit. We'll we'll get better turning radius. Okay. That's really not much in the tuning department, though. No, no, no. This this is uh this is pretty good. Is the suspension decently comfy? The suspension is deep, decently comfy. It's way better than a yard cart. Definitely way better than a yard cart. That's cart. what we want, dude. The yeah. yard dart, baby. Yeah, man. And we, yeah, we upgraded shocks that actually have damping too. So most important question: Does it feel fast? Yeah, I think so. That's good. Let me go find that nut. That's good. I we think could so. upgrade to a 212, but... I think we're going to find out the 190 is good enough. Awesome. Eagle Eye Charlie got it. Nice. Chuck. Eagle Eye oh, yeah. Chuck. Eagle Eye Chucky. All right, so I'm going to go get a wrench because, yeah, both of these are the same size. So I'll go right. get two wrenches and, and... And we'll check that other one down. Yeah, I bet you. It's probably loose. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's tight. What oh, are you talking boy. about? No, stop laughing at me. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't drive over the jump back there. I notice I said, <laughs> notice I said drive over the jump, not jump <laughs> over. The speed. Not jump that. the jump. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Yeah. I don't see why you couldn't I mean, drive if he over sees a jump in front of him, he's probably going to want to hit My it. My right a foot bit. is going to hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right. Good. All right. Johnny, I think it's good for a, Let me give it a, dri shot. a drive over the jump. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hand over the helmet and the Remember keys, a sir. Building on your landing zone. Yeah. Okay.
Hold it. I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, Ike, I see what you're saying. There's something weird with the drive line. Yeah. I hope it's not the transmission. You gotta have it running the ship, dude. Yeah, yeah. To the shop. Very cool. Oh, oh. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, fun bucket. Fun bucket. Fun bucket. Boys! This thing is sweet! I like it. I dig it. I think it fits you better than me. It always does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, the trophy cart fits me pretty good. That's true, it fits you better. Yeah. Uh, I see what you mean. Brake pedal's a little wonky. Yeah. Honestly, if we cut that tip off, it'd make a huge difference. Gas pedal could use a little bit of, I think we need to tilt the face a little towards our foot more so right. it gets caught less. Right. Uh, we need tighter steering radius, you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. um, we need a muffler, that's a huge one. We need a chain guard, that's another huge one. And then this thing will be ready for a proper rip. 10 grand or more if we have to. Overnight parts and go power sports. <laughs> it definitely needs some MoTeC exhaust. Yeah. Oh my God. And it'll be ready for race wars, boys. Is, that, right. a, is that a Gallo 12 or a Gallo 24? No, that's a Gallo 190. It's a 36, brother. Oh, okay. I this didn't know. This place did. does make motors. <laughs> <laughs> so do you like it? Oh, I love it. Good. You you were a little bit restrained. I was a little bit afraid, dude. You were like, yeah, it's fine. It's cool. It's good. It's good. I was this holding thing, back. This thing is 100% a yard cart if a yard cart didn't and try to kill you every time you got on it. Right. It's like a yard cart for people who have back problems. Okay. It's awesome. It is awesome. As you can see, we have a lot of cleaning to do around here. So we're going to go ahead and leave you here. But there's one more really sad thing that needs to happen to this 190 cross car before we end today's video. Ike, you want to share it? <laughs> All right. All right. That was easy. Tail fence. Those things would have turned into daggers if it would have flipped. Yep. I wanted to set up a challenge where we set up a watermelon or something on a stump and we try to drift it around and slice it with the, uh, <laughs> the tail fins. But for whatever reason, the guys just weren't into it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Leave a thumbs up. I'm super thrilled with this go-kart. I think it turned out exactly how I pictured it in my brain. It's like a yard cart on steroids that's comfortable and should have a ton of power as well. Don't, don't know what to do with your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Time to clean up. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Cars-cameras.com. Pick up some merchandise and support the channel. We'll catch you next time. Right. Here, I'm talking like you're going to do it. Do you want to do it? I don't care. Y'all want to do rock, paper, scissors? Or He's the one to put cherry on the cake. I think he needs to. I agree with you. What? I don't know what he means I either. But air, I did put the air filter on. Cool. We, look, me and John baked the cake all week, and he came in and just put the ice in He put the sprinkles on top, and now he gets to take the first bite. <laughs>